Hello and welcome to Exchange for Media. With me today is a leader who in these not so good times has found reasons to be happy. He is basking in the glory of retaining a 750 crore account and winning some new ones. Please welcome Mr. Ajay Gupte, CEO of Wavemaker South Asia. Ajay, welcome to the show. Thanks, Navia. Thanks for having me. And, and thanks for the, the kind words. Thanks for uh, finding time to do this for us. So Ajay, you know, I, as I mentioned in the intro, the Wavemaker has recently retained L'Oreal, which is a very uh, big advertisers and you know, an account that uh, most agencies would want to have. Uh, then you also uh, won some new accounts like Luminous and others. So how is the sentiment on the floor? Winning is always great. It, it, it lifts spirits and something that's very important uh, in these times. Uh, I think we've, uh, you know, we, we've kind of continued our winning streak. Uh, we've had a great year last year. We've been on top of the charts, the new business charts, and uh, we continue that trend. So it is very gratifying. I'm I'm very grateful to the team who's put in a lot of effort. It is not easy to pitch in these times. Uh, you know, preparing for the pitch without actually being physically together. Uh, and then actually making the pitch presentation is extremely so, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Even still, all the pitches are taking place virtually. There, there's no, there are no physical meetings. No, no, absolutely. Absolutely. All pitches are still virtual. So it, it is very challenging. And, you know, especially when all all videos are off and you're not seeing any expressions and you don't know how you're doing and, and whether, you know, you're going in the right track. It is not easy. It is challenging. But in spite of that, to have put in the effort and to be successful, I think I think it has it's a lot of credit to the team, and I'm I'm grateful to the clients to have seen the value. Uh, and like I said, winning always is celebration. It lifts spirits, uh, and it has it has brought in a lot of um, lot of joy uh, in these very very difficult times uh, for a team that has worked really really hard. Ajay, while uh, it was a very good year for you, uh, overall, you know the industry was. Uh hit by the second wave and mm. uh, your own parent company group m had predicted that you know this year the addicts will grow at 23 percent but then uh, came this uh, sudden uh, second wave and it, it disrupted a lot of uh, the entire ecosystem how much has that affected industry and your business also in terms of uh, you know consumer sentiment so i think overall we are still good uh, with that 23% uh, prediction. Uh, we we started the year with a bang and actually we, we took on from 2020 uh, where the last few months really picked up uh, and Jan, Feb, March did extremely well and uh, showed a lot of positive growth. Um, in fact, if you remember 2020 was not COVID Jan, Feb, Jan, Feb uh, at least. So we, we have exceeded those numbers. So it's a, it's a very good positive trend. Um, yes, after the second wave hit us, uh, there has been a reduction. But this time, unlike last time, where uh, everyone was unsure and unaware of, of what they should do, I think in this, in this particular time, we had the benefit of experience on our side. Uh, and unlike last time, where everyone just stopped advertising, uh, this time, although people are a little more cautious, clients are a little more cautious, it is not a pull the plug situation. So uh, spends haven't dropped the way they did last time. Uh, they are lower, uh, but they are they haven't gone off completely. So in, in, in that sense, uh, we are actually going quite well so far. Uh, the first half of the year hasn't been uh, as bad as last year. We, we've done okay. Um, you are you uh, we, when we spoke earlier you were talking about the the drop and I think compared to uh, compared to the first quarter uh, the uh, April May would be about about seventy percent of seventy to eighty percent of what we expected it to be um, but July August uh, while it's typically a lower advertising month uh, and that trend will continue so we will be. Uh, in line with uh, every year's trends, the seasonality patterns that we have. I'm very hopeful for the last quarter of the year, starting from September, actually, uh, when, you know, with, with the cricket tournaments that we have coming around, with the festive season coming around, I think it's all going to come together very well, the way it did in 2020. Uh, and I think we, we are still good to go 
with the number that we predicted at the we also year. discussed how uh, july august uh, this year looks uh, much better or comparable to 2019 that's right that's right so july august this year uh, will be um, in line with uh, 2019 um, a little bit here and there but but largely in line with what we saw in 2019 and and that's great uh, considering how 2020 went that certainly gives us a lot of a uh, lot of growth compared to the previous year Ajay, but um, as we discussed before, uh, this twenty, uh, the second wave uh, was uh, very tragic in a lot of ways. That, you know, uh, uh, there was personal loss. Almost all of us uh, personally know someone who has been affected. You know, in, in our uh, extended family or colleagues, etc. So, uh, how how has this impacted the consumer sentiment? You know, do you think? And I. I'm also asking that you know, do, do you see this continue till the festive season, or by then people would will overcome it, and you know things will be back to celebrations and leaving things behind? Yeah, so uh, uh, it's a very very interesting question actually, and and there are a lot of lot of trends that we've observed. Uh, we've observed some changes from the previous uh, previous wave, and and some things which which continued. Uh, so. When when the uh, first wave went down, I think people got a lot more confident, and people were going out, and some I think some offices also reopened, and and things were getting back to normal. Uh, and and then the second wave hit us. I don't think we were ready for it uh, mentally uh, because we we thought that you know this is all behind us, and but it the the hit was tremendous. It was a massive hit, and uh, like you said, uh, we've all been hit personally, uh, and that's a very sad situation to be in. Um, the way the, the consumer reacted, uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, similar to last time, uh, a lot of the media viewing went up because you know, a lot more time spent at home. Uh, OTT viewing went up, uh, viewing on the mobile went up. People were a lot more comfortable ordering uh, on e-commerce, ordering online. So that continued its growing trend. Unlike last time, where uh, a lot of hoarding happened, this time hoarding didn't happen. So I think people knew that you know you you don't need to fear that things will not be available. So hoarding didn't happen. E-commerce comfort was a lot more, and that continued to grow. Uh, the other things which have continued and and kept growing uh, is the is the sentiment of of health. So you know, so e-commerce was affected because a lot of people, uh, in, a, in particularly in Mumbai and in Delhi, in a lot of places, uh, they had stopped deliveries. They had stopped. They had stopped deliveries, but uh, it is not when, when, as in when it opened up, when it was physically possible. And I think at at no point of time did essentials go off. Yeah. That continued. So that kind of comfort people had, they were not worried about not being able to access. Uh, access stuff that is that is essential. Even the so, food delivery continued. Even the food delivery continued. So those those things were taken care of very well. Uh, and uh, I, I, also the 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 other non-essential deliveries came back on pretty soon this time mm -hmm. compared to last time. Where so uh, so I was saying you know that the one of the key trends is the consciousness towards a healthy lifestyle. So the number of number of searches around. Uh, healthy eating, uh, healthy healthy recipes, the the number of searches around yoga, the number of searches around uh, healthy habits, that went up phenomenally. So so that that whole trend, uh, um, you know, has continued and has possibly grown. So that's that's one thing. And I think brands could use this uh, very effectively by by you know leaning or finding ways to talk about how. Uh, you know, it, they they could benefit from a health perspective, or, or you know, uh, associate with that that uh, that trend that we have seen. The other thing you, you would have noticed, a very very interesting uh, thing, is in the earlier phase there was a lot of sharing happening. You know, I have made this coffee, I have made this, uh, you know, I have I have cooked this new dish, I have learned this new trick, all of that that happened a lot in the first wave. It didn't happen in the second wave. The second wave was a lot more about about caring for others, about having done yeah. something, about asking for help. I think it was one was the intensity of it, and the second is I think 
having gone through the first wave, people are were a lot more, uh, you know, uh, conscious of of the situation that is going around them. So, so I think the, that was another uh, big thing that changed. So, first is the consciousness towards health, uh, the 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 being more value conscious. So, value for money became a lot more important, uh, and and therefore this this was a trend observed in the previous wave also where established brands and brands with a lot of equity uh, benefited a lot more uh, in terms of sale uh, and and that has continued uh, so that has continued in this in this wave uh, media consumption has gone up a lot more ott subscriptions have gone up a lot more people uh, and i think this time there was a lot more content on ott yeah so there were a lot more new serials uh, which did quite well. Uh, a lot of new, you know, new OTT only releases which came up, and I think all of these uh, uh, grew. Uh, the other two areas that we have seen a lot of growth is gaming. Yeah. So gaming, you know, uh, apart, uh, uh, unlike earlier where it was, you know, once in a way and and may not be too many, uh, too many people involved. Uh, this time we've seen a lot more. You know, serious gamers, people who spend a lot more time gaming. So that is another another key trend we've seen. And the the other one is from a media perspective is audio. So podcasts have taken a lot more space. I think people going for walks, you know, putting on their earphones, those kind of things. You know, the health health thing, and then the related. Uh, Edu tech also. Edu tech also. Edu tech also is another uh, another trend which has taken off. I think people have. Have begun to believe that you can do a lot more with your screen uh, than than earlier. So I think that's another one which has gone up. Uh, another thing is uh, is uh, is hyper local. So uh, a lot of uh, media con- consumption which is local. So a lot of language, local language consumption of media. A lot of uh, uh, you know wanting things to be delivered to you quickly and therefore uh, usage of of the local network to uh, to buy stuff, so those kind of things. Sorry, there's a call happening here. So those kind of things have uh, have very clearly been. Uh, so I I also before. asked you if if this this has affected consumer sentiment, and you think uh, you know people may not shop the way used they used to. Will it continue so, till festive season? Uh, I think um, I uh, in when the wave was at its peak, when the second wave was at its peak, yes. Uh, consumption went down dramatically, but we are seeing things coming back for most categories in the FMCG space. I think FMCG space hasn't been uh, affected. Uh, you're talking about uh, uh, space like banking, finance. All of these areas have uh, have continued to flourish. Uh, areas which uh, you know categories in the uh, retail space have very badly been affected. Uh, Categories in the hospitality space have been very badly affected. Um, I think these two, three areas are are where they have been affected. But in general, otherwise, uh, consumption is is not you know is not that badly affected this time as it was uh, last time. And I believe things will, as festive comes back, I I am hopeful and I believe that uh, normal consumption will come back uh, into play because. Finally, you know, everyone is looking to come out of this, and one of the ways to feel liberated is to, is to in to you know to spend and to 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 feel good about the fact that you can do something. So I believe uh, we should be out of it. I just pray that the third wave doesn't hit us. If anyway. if that <laughs> if that is safe, then I think no more waves now. <laughs> yeah, like we don't need any more. We're fine with wave maker. <laughs> we don't need more. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only wave we want. <laughs> so you know, uh, you uh, wave maker launched a new AI powered uh, beta yes. planning platform called Maximize. Uh, not much has been uh, spoken about it. You know, how is it different from the uh, platforms that other agencies have launched? What are its, its USPs, and if you can, and how is it rolling out in India? If you can shed more light on that. Sure. Uh, Maxima is something you know that that I'm really proud of. It's a it's a, a massive differentiator and something that will help uh, clients make better investments. Uh, this is being launched globally, uh, and uh, currently in India we are rolling it out with the teams. Uh, 
there's a lot of this training going on at a at a massive scale uh, and uh, we're getting our teams used to using uh, the platform uh, we are also you know taking this to some of our clients and 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 working with them to start you know to start getting them to get a feel of the uh, of the platform what is great about uh, maximize really is its ability to look at multiple uh, situations at the same time okay i'd explain that a little bit more so as an advertiser i need to make decisions decisions around which target consumer do i go after uh, decisions around which medium do i target when i decide my medium how much do i invest in which medium we also have a proprietary way of looking at uh, the consumer journey which is called momentum in momentum we say there are four stages there is a priming stage when you are not actively looking to purchase something but at the same time your mind is open to to input coming in from advertising or from from anywhere else right so take an example of 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 maybe a of a car right you 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 may have just bought a car and you're not looking in the market for a car but then you keep seeing advertising your some your some friend relative buys a new car it registers in your head that's the priming stage then there's a trigger where your car gets old or there's a sudden uh, income increase which requires you to which which allows you to make a new investment in new car and then you are in the active stage so there's a trigger and then there's the active stage in the active stage you behave very differently you go to showrooms you go and search you go and ask questions very different you're not passive you're very active in research and then you make your decision and you buy right now what stage do i really need to invest in where is my brand today is my brand a brand that is actively in the consumer's mind and therefore i don't need to really invest there but i need to invest when they are searching for me when they're looking for me are is it a brand which which needs a little bit more priming which needs a little more priming bias then i need to invest in the priming stage now all of these investment decisions there are millions of permutation combinations right i invest in the priming stage or in the active stage i invest on television or radio or influencers or or whatever right there are so many permutations combinations that can come through what this tool does is it looks at various consumer groups it looks at various so at the four stages it looks at various media and tells you how to invest in each of these variables so it's a it's a it's a multi dimensional tool giving you investment levels across each piece that i have mentioned and that have is you what started is using it for your clients in india or it is still in the roll out phase so so we have started we started with a few clients uh, and we are we are still you know uh, looking at how the results are and we are training our people to use it so i i guess in the next one or two months we should be able to go out to all our clients and all our people will be in a position to use a maximize uh, the beauty of this really is that uh, one is it is is the is the data which goes behind it so uh, group m has m platform our uh, our platform which we have uh, 380 million uh, you know user ids on uh, which is a massive base which i think is the largest base that you can uh, get in the country and on top of that we have what we call life panel which is a panel of about 25000 uh, people which is linked on m platform so uh, maximize works on the life panel so the data is very very robust uh, and the information is is real time and nothing like this uh, exists anywhere else and and i think the, the given thinking and given the kind of robust data that goes behind it we have a winner in our hands and right now what we are focusing on is making sure that uh, every uh, wave maker is fully trained and uh, you know equipped to use this better for our clients so that's the that's the stage we are in so uh, you know globally business is kind of picking up uh, with a lot of pitches uh, that were held back in 2020 are now uh, on right now um, uh, we have been hearing you know even even like some of the biggest brands are on pitch how much do you see india gain from it you know the, the from the overall momentum i i <laughs> 
I, I I certainly hope a lot of it comes our way. <laughs> Wave makers way and group group M's way. Uh, and, but uh, in term, but there is a lot of momentum happening, right? In 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 the industry right now because in twenty twenty I uh, I understood that a lot of pitches were not uh, held and uh, they were just uh, either retaining their existing agencies or just pushed it to the next year. So all those which were on hold are now. They've been called, you know. I, I uh, one of your uh, colleagues told me one colleagues is not from WaveMaker, from your industry counterpart. Part told me that uh, this has been the most active pitch season in last ten years. So, is it correct? Uh, yes, we've uh, we've at WaveMaker we've had a uh, we've had a very active pitch season, uh, and like you've seen quite a lot of wind coming through. So started um, roughly around June, July, or uh, uh, April, June, or when? No, I, I, I we, honestly we've been uh, we've been at it since January. Uh, there, there's been I I think there's been no time uh, in the last six months where there is not one pitch that where there is at least one pitch on at at any point of time. So that's the way it has been. Yes. So I think uh, to answer that. Yes, 2020 was a time when uh, a few pitches got postponed, uh, but uh, now there is there is there is a fair bit of action going around, uh, and and so far we benefited from it. So I look forward to it. Ajay, uh, you know this this uh, series we have uh, named it on resilience because uh, this was a difficult year for all of us. I mean, last one and one more than a year now we are all going through very different times. Uh, what kind of initiatives did your agency you know, take on building trust with and hope for co-workers and more about you know, the human side of the agency and the CEO, if you can elaborate on that. So uh, this has been, uh, has been really tough. And uh, you know, honestly, I, I believe that no matter what, we try to do, uh, and how much ever you know, we 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 try to to support. Uh, it it just is not enough because uh, the kind of personal loss that people have gone through cannot be compensated by anything we do. Uh, we've tried our best. Uh, we've tried our best to support um, uh, people in in you know in 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 whatever way we could. Um, when, when the peak happened. So, uh, and, and I love the way, you know, it, it wasn't just that the management is trying to do it, but the teams got together uh, on, on our WhatsApp groups, you know, there was, it was, it was buzzing with people trying to help with beds, trying to help with oxygen, uh, trying to help each other. And uh, I was, I was really heartened to see that happening. Uh, and and we at our end also tried our best to help uh, and and support in whatever way we could, but it has been hard, Nadia. It has been it has been very very hard. Uh, we we try to uh, we try to do small things, very small things, uh, given the uh, given the magnitude of the challenge. Uh, and these small things include a few holidays here and there, uh, you know, uh, supporting in terms of uh, mental and and you know physical. Uh, support uh, from you know the training in, in yoga, uh, people to talk to, health services. We've done all of that, uh, and and we hope that we've been able to help uh, our people. But you know, I personally feel that no matter what we do, uh, this kind of situation is is just overwhelming, uh, and and I really feel for our people, and I'm and I'm so proud that. Uh, you know, we've been able to stick together and hold hands and and kind of come through this um, together. I, I wouldn't say completely unscathed because a lot of us have personally been hit, but at least we are we are coming out of it together. I, I think the biggest thing is that we are really very 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 uh, conscious of the challenge, uh, and in whenever there is an opportunity to support in whatever way, uh, we try our best to. To, to do what, whatever we can to help. Ajay, thank you so much for taking our time and uh, speaking to us. Uh, we wish you many uh, new accounts in 2021 and uh, 
just stay in touch keep us informed every time you win something new <laughs> <laughs> will do will do thanks thanks a lot Thank you. lovely talking to you